Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Today is truly a historic day for America's outdoor recreation economy. Uh, we're marking up America's Outdoor Recreation Act, a first-of-its-kind comprehensive recreation package. This legislation is a monumental achievement for all who enjoy our public lands and our shared natural resources. It contains numerous provisions to increase access to the outdoors, to streamline and simplify agency processes, and improve America's recreation infrastructure. This recreation package is truly bipartisan. It contains bills from several members of this committee. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this includes our legislation to help modernize public campgrounds and to establish shooting ranges on federal forests. It will also leverage private funding to create new recreational opportunities on our public lands. America's Outdoor Recreation Act also includes two other measures I introduced, the FILM Act, Federal Interior Land Media Act, and the CAPE Act, the Cape and Antler Preservation Enhancement Act. The Film Act modernizes film and photography permitting on public lands, it gives outdoor enthusiasts the ability to share their adventures without having to deal with burdensome red tape. The Film Act is also a win for the First Amendment. It does away with the unconstitutional permitting scheme that requires permits and fees for some types of filming and photography content, but not for others. The CAPE Act is a conservation victory for some of our national park's most iconic species. In Grand Teton National Park, non-native mountain goats threaten the struggling native bighorn sheep herd. Through coordinated efforts with the Park Service, volunteers play a major role in helping to conserve the bighorn sheep by removing the non-native goats. Current law gives discretion to the Park Service to donate the meat obtained during these authorized wildlife management activities. Unfortunately, the rest of the animal goes to waste. The CAPE Act remedies this by allowing for the donation of hides and horns, including donating to volunteers who help protect our native bighorn sheep. Mr. Chairman, I want to thank you for working with me on this important recreation package. America's Outdoor Recreation Act will benefit everyone who enjoys the outdoors in Wyoming and across the nation. This legislation is endorsed by numerous recreation organizations, conservation groups, and state officials. Wyoming Governor Mark Gordon stated, we applaud the work being done on this federal legislation to expand and enhance outdoor recreation through increased collaboration between state, local, and federal land managers. The bill includes an abundance of strong common sense reforms, reforms and many priorities from members of this very committee, all without increasing federal spending. I encourage all of our committee members to support this important legislation. Today, we're also marking up a number of separate bills that would affect our public lands. While I support many of the items on today's agenda, I don't support bills that would needlessly restrict multiple use of our public lands. I also don't support measures that take critical mineral extraction or energy production off the table. We must end our dependence on Russia and China for critical minerals and energy that we can produce right here at home. At our last legislative markup in November, Senator King made a statement that I wholeheartedly agree with. He said, those of us who are interested in dealing with climate change have to face the fact that there's going to require more mining in the United States. We can, can't have it both ways, he said. There is no free lunch when it comes to energy. I agree wholeheartedly with Senator King's remarks, and Senator King is present with us today. Mr. Chairman, I look forward to continuing to work with you in a bipartisan way to advance the legislative priorities of our members.